Hello guys, Craig Frost here and welcome to another Juicy Tuts tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Twitch alerts inside OBS when you live stream to Twitch. So this is the OBS layout. I have just got a basic scene in here with just one image. But what if every time someone follows me or subscribes or any of that, I want it to pop up and say their name and get a bit of recognition? Well. I'm going to use Twitch alerts for that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just close OBS now because we're going to need to install a plugin in a moment. Actually, I'll leave it open because I'll show you something else as well. Um, so you want to come over to twitchalerts.com and log in with your Twitch account and authorize the API through this website and then it will come in with all your channel stats. You want to come over to the alert box on the left hand side and here is where you can use it to customize what comes up on screen every time somebody like follows you, subscribes, donates, hosts your channel, that kind of thing. Um, so I'll show you now how you can customize it. I'll just do it on followers. So here you can choose the layout of the text and image, how it comes in, what it's going to say. So we'll say you have to have the name tag in there, but you'll say is is now following me like a stalker there we go and you can spell it correctly as well if you want uh, exclamation marks that's what's going to say when someone follows me it's going to say their name is now following me like a stalker uh, you can choose the effect on the text so you can have it all bounce like that i'll have it bouncing now you can choose an image if you want uh, we'll have a star come up shall we let's have a star that's cool. So a star will come up and it will also say, um, you know, their name and we will, you can choose what kind of audio sound plays as well. Oh, let's have that. Okay. So we're going to have that and you can choose how long it stays on screen. We'll leave it on screen for, I'll leave it on screen for 30 seconds just so we get to see it. So now what you can do is you can press launch and this will actually launch another window. Let's move this to the side. Now this window is like a green screen window and every time someone follows you, this will like display the alert. I'll show you now. If I click test follow, there you go. It says that Lilo Pro is now following. Lilo Pro is my gaming channel on Twitch. So how can we get this into OBS? What you can do is you can go to in your scenes, add a window capture and you can rename it. It's fine. You've got to choose your widget box from Twitch. And if we press OK and preview the stream, that will now be in our stream. So there we go. You can see it in the stream, but that's no good because we don't want this green background here all the time. Let me just crop in on the window a little bit. Oh. Just hold alt and that will allow you to crop in just a tad because we don't want the lines around the outside. Um, so there you go. But yeah, it's green. So what you can do is you can double click on this window capture and you can choose to color key. So if you press select, you select the green and it'll just disappear just like that. So now if someone follows, if we do it over here, follow alert. Look at that. See, it pops up in the stream but that's not always what we want because you can see there's a little bit of haloing around the keying there and we can fiddle about with the key but look, i'll show you again if that pops up look at this it's not very clean so what can we do to fix that what we can do is oh hang on did i not save i obviously didn't save my changes save settings i thought there was supposed to be a star there we go. Look at that is now following me like a stalker. That's how easy it is to change it. But yeah, it's not as clean as it could be. So let's get rid of this window capture and let's actually close out of OBS for now and close this window here. What you can also do is use this link here um, to import into OBS itself. What you need is a thing called CLR browser. And you can click here to download. So just type in CLR browser OBS into Google and you come to this page and you need to download either the 32 bit or 64 bit for whichever version you're using. I have both on here, but I'm going to do the 32 bit just for this tutorial. So once it's downloaded in your downloads, it'll be a zip. Just extract the files to the same location. That's absolutely fine. Now in the extracted folder, you'll have a folder and a plugin file. Just copy them. 
and then you need to come into wherever OBS is installed. So if you are running the 64-bit, it'll be program files. If you're running the 32-bit, it'll be program files times 86, because obviously 32 means 86 for some reason. Scroll down, find OBS, and then in the plugins folder, just right click and paste those in there like that. And it'll ask you for security, but just allow it. So that's fine. So we can get rid of that now, get rid of that. And we'll come back to our dashboard here and we'll just put that to one side. So if I open OBS again, now I should be able to right click and add a CLR browser. Um, we can rename everything, it's fine. Now in this URL, we need to put in this URL here. So if we just copy and paste that and press OK and preview the stream, it should now be in there. It's this transparent box and it's perfectly transparent. We don't need to key anything. So now if I do a follow alert, look at that. And the keying is absolutely perfect. So is the cropping. We don't need to do anything. So there you go, guys. That's how to use Twitch alerts inside of OBS for Twitch. And this will, of course, work for anything if someone donates. There you go. See, you can customize your donation alerts for everything um, inside this Twitch alerts. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. I waffled on a little bit, but it's absolutely fine. So <laughs> leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more of these. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>